Well, unfortunately, McDonald's is not doing too well, but we can take advantage of it with a bear call spread. Hello, everybody. Jim Malone here with Dallas Trading Floor. Well, McDonald's has not been doing too well as of late. You know, the $18 Big Mac meals in Connecticut are really getting uh, becoming a problem for the company. So people have been, well, they've been abandoning McDonald's. So the price does not look good. It doesn't look like it's moving floor. But we can profit, and we, where we can profit is with this bearish trade. It's called a bear call spread on McDonald's. McDonald's continues to languish between a declining 21 and 50 day moving average. And this is looking bad for the overall price of McDonald's. But for a bearish trade, what I recommend is a bear call spread on McDonald's stock. Now, basically what a bear call spread does is that it involves selling a out of the money call and then buying a further out of the money call. Here's how I'm doing the trade. Today, I bought a July 19th 270 call and I also sold a July 19th 265 call and I, I did five contracts for this so my total the money that came into my account as of the opening of this trade was $440 now I'm gonna to try to keep as much of this as possible and so I either will not close the trade if I don't have to or I will close it early uh, and try to remain uh, with this this amount of credit. So let me show you kind of what I'm talking about here. If we look at the McDonald's chart, you can see we're definitely below the black line there, and that is the 50-week moving average. And we're also below the 10-week moving average. This is on the weekly chart. Not a good sign, and it does not look good. This is what they call in the business the death cross, where the 10-day moves below that 50-day. So the trend of McDonald's is lower. And as you can see, the relative strength rating of this is 20. This means that 80% of the market is doing better than McDonald's. So we do kind of expect a downward trend on this. If we look at the composite rating of the stock, it's only a 56. We typically like to see 80 if we're looking at an, uh, an improving stock. But 56 is, is not good. Uh, the EPS rating, 81, not bad on the, on the uh, earnings per share. Um, the uh, group strength is good. A plus. There's some good companies in this uh, in this group, like Chipotle and uh, Cava. But uh, McDonald's is not one of them, and people are uh, not accumulating this. They are getting rid of the stock overall. So it is a downward trend on McDonald's, and this is how we're going to take advantage of it. Now, if we look at the the trade in general, you'll can see the initial premium was four hundred and forty dollars. This is the amount that we received when we opened. The trade with the five contracts. The maximum risk on this is $2,060. That's the amount we possibly, that's the most we could possibly lose if the stock is above 270 by the expiry. So the return basically on the risk is 21%, which is quite good for the amount of time that we're looking at. We're looking at 38 days here. And if we annualize this return, it would be 205.3% on the risk that is involved. Now, our break even, and this is the key here, is, is anything below 265.88. So if it rises up to 265.88, we're going to close the trade early. And let me show you that on the profit chart. Currently, the stock price is about 283.56. So we're right about here. So we've made a, so even if we close it today, well, tomorrow, we would gain a little bit based on the current stock price. If the stock price goes up, though, up to this line, this 265.88, we're going to close it early. Uh, but if it stays below that, well, we're just going to hold it until we get at least about 90% of the uh, the expected gain. So if we just held it and it and it was below 265.88, we would collect 440 at the end of the trade. Now. Again, we get the money up front, and with if it expires worthless, that's how the that's how the 440 happens for the five contracts. So if the stock continues to move downward, we're going to be holding on to it. Now, I typically like to trade to close my trades when I receive about 90 percent of the potential profit, and that's just because uh, the time value of money. So if we were to receive, if we were to get to here. If we were to get all the way out here to July 15th or so, 
and we still see it at the same price, I would probably close this early just because we received 90% of the, the profits there. Uh, but uh, interesting, interesting trade. Another way to look at this trade is to look at the break-even. The break-even is 265.88, as we, we discussed uh, before. As long as we remain on this side of the 265.88s, below that, we're going to collect all the money. So it's kind of it's kind of a weird chart to look at, but if you look at it, we're we um, we're going to collect all the money as long as we stay below, below that 265.88 because this is a bear trade and not a bull trade. So very interesting. So here as the expiry. So as long as we at the expiry, which is the um, um, we are going to we're going to make a potential. The, the most we can make, of course, is the most the amount that we collected initially when we opened the trade, and that's 440. So that would be if the this trade um, expired worthless. That means that after the, the 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 options ran out and it was still below the 265.88, we would make we would keep the 440. Now, if we have to close it early, of course, we're gonna have to pay a little bit of money to do that, and our break even is this 265.88. So as long as it stays below that number, we are going to keep the trade open until uh, until about 90% of the profit. These kind of spread trades could be super fun. I'm going to be presenting many of them uh, on a daily basis, and uh, hopefully you'll sign up for the Dallas Trading Floor. By the way, it's free, and it's really easy to get on board. All you have to do is take a picture of this QR code, and then go. It will bring you to the site. Uh, beacons-ai slash Dallas Trading Floor, just uh, first and last name and an email address, and you'll be signed up for Dallas Trading Floor. Again, it's free, and we present trades like this uh, is uh, pretty much on a daily basis. I'm going to be updating this trade to see how it does, and then if you're on the list, we'll probably send out an alert uh, if the trade closes early. Again, thanks for watching Dallas Trading Floor.